Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Loved, protected, and safe, I hope. Today's words of encouragement from God are about salvation, what it takes for salvation, and what you must do in order to reach eternal life in God's and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's kingdom. Though the walk may be hard, it is the most rewarding thing you will ever have done, so never give up, never give in. Keep moving forward no matter how slow and difficult it may seem, for the struggles that lay before you cannot compare be compared to the glory to come to all who enter their kingdom with eternal life. Now, let's dive into the scriptures. First is Romans 10, 8 through 11. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is, the word, the message, the basis of faith which we preach, because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification, that is, being made righteous, being freed of the guilt of sin, and made acceptable to God. And with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him, whoever adheres to, trusts in, and relies on him, will not be disappointed in his expectations. Ephesians 2, 8-10 For it is by grace, God's remarkable compassion and favor drawing you to Christ, that you have been saved, actually delivered from judgment and given eternal life through faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, not through your own effort, but it is the undeserved gracious gift of God, not as a result of your works, nor your attempts to keep the law, so that no one will be able to boast or take credit in any way for his salvation. For we are his workmanship, his own masterwork, a work of art, created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking paths which he set, so that we would walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. John 3.16 For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world, that he even gave his one and only begotten Son, and so that whoever believes and trusts in him as Savior shall not perish, but have eternal life. Romans 3.23 Since all have sinned and continually fall short of the glory of God. John 3.17 For God did not send the Son into the world to judge and condemn the world, that is, to initiate the final judgment of the world, but that the world might be saved through him. John 14.6 Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God and the real truth and the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Acts 4.12 and there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among people by which we must be saved, for God has provided the world no alternative for salvation. Romans 5.8 But God clearly shows and proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God, that is, his remarkable, overwhelming gift of grace to believers, is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 10.13 Forever, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord in prayer will be saved. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is, grafted in, joined in him by faith, in him as Savior, he is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition, have passed away. Behold, new things have come, because spiritual awakening brings a new life. 2 Corinthians 5.21 He made Christ, who knew no sin, to judicially be sin on our behalf so that in him we would become the righteousness of God, that is, we would be made acceptable to him and placed in a right relationship with him by his gracious loving kindness. Hebrews 9.28 So Christ, having been offered once and once for all to bear as a burden the sins of many, will appear a second time when he returns to earth, not to deal with sin, but to bring salvation to those who are eagerly and confidently waiting for him. Romans 10.11 for the scripture says, whoever believes in him, whoever adheres to, trusts in, and relies on him, will not be disappointed in his expectations. John 5.24 I assure you and most solemnly say to you, the person who hears my word, the one who heeds my message, and believes and trusts in him who sent me, has and possesses now eternal life, that is, eternal life actually begins, the believer is transformed and does not come into judgment and condemnation, but has passed over from death into life. 
Luke 9, 23 through 27. And he was saying to them all, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross daily, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come, and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and, if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. For whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake, he is the one who will save it from the consequences of sin and separation from God. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, wealth, fame, success, and loses or forfeits himself? For whoever is ashamed here and now of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Heavenly Father and of the holy angels. But I tell you truthfully, there are some among those standing here who will not taste the death before they see the kingdom of God. 1 Peter 1 9, receiving as a result the outcome, the consummation of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Isaiah 12 2. Behold, God, my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and song. Yes, he has become my salvation. These scriptures clearly point out how to seek salvation from God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Cry out to them, give everything of yourself to them, follow their commands, laws, ways, words, and truth. Keep pressing forward in these, and God, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit will guide you into their kingdom with eternal life in their righteous ways of living and truth in all things. When you earnestly and humbly seek them, giving your will for your life to them completely, they will give everything of themselves to you for your salvation from Satan's pit of destruction for your life. They will put you on the narrow path to their kingdom, guiding, leading, and teaching you in all truth to attain everlasting life with them in their kingdom. Remember, God, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit, the angels and I love you all without question or reservation. May God's love, peace, grace, blessings, joy, mercy, understanding, compassion, caring, kindness, patience, wisdom, protection, guidance, glory, goodness, corrections, truth and trust, favor and anointing, faithfulness and steadfastness, forgiveness and salvation, strength and endurance, clarity, courage, and calm in all situations, and everything good of them be with you, always guiding you through. Have a blessed day in God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love you all, and I'll see you later.